Hi everyone, today I'm going to tell you how to clear system storage on Mac step by step and share the easiest way to do that. Wait till the end to discover how to remove time machine backups that usually take a considerable amount of space. But first of all, how do you check your system storage? Much of the storage space used by the OS for system related tasks is cleared automatically, but sometimes that doesn't happen, which is why the system category can grow very large. To check how much system storage your files take, go to the Apple menu and select About This Mac. Then choose the Storage tab and click Manage. Once your Mac calculates your storage, you can see the exact size of the system category. Apple doesn't explain what comprises this category of storage, but it likely includes Time Machine backups, old iOS backups, FileVault files, app cache files, and unused disk images. How much space does your system storage take on your Mac? Share your reply in the comments below. As you see, there is no magic clear button. But using the further methods, you'll be able to clear system storage on Mac OS Catalina, Mojave, High Sierra, or earlier versions. Method 1. I'm going to start by showing you the faster automatic way to clear system storage, and then we'll head over to manual instructions. Not knowing what exact files are included in system storage makes finding them tricky, but there is a dedicated app that handles that very well. Clean My Mac X is a cleaning utility designed to clean and optimize cluttered Macs. You can download it by the link in the description. Launch the app and go to the System Junk feature. Press the Scan button to start the analyzing process. Clean My Mac X then begins going through your system folders to identify user cache, system log, and other files that clutter your storage. Click Review Details to see the report and find out how much space each category takes. Whoa! It seems like my user cache category size is beyond normal. I definitely want to remove those. Now I just press clean to remove all files I checked. After the successful cleanup, you will see the following message. How much system storage did you clean? Share your results in the comments below. As you see, cleaning system storage with Clean My Mac X is straightforward and fast. You can find the download link in the description box if you want to try the app yourself. Next, I'll describe a manual way of clearing your Mac system storage. Method 2. If you want to get to the depths of your Mac OS and clean up the storage system manually, here's how to do that. Click the Go menu in Finder and select Go to Folder. Then paste Library Caches and press Go. You can find this and all other commands in the description box. Go through the subfolders and press Command I to get info and check how much data is in each. You'll quickly discover where your precious storage is gone. Select all files and move them to the trash. Repeat the process in library logs to remove system log files and user log files. Navigating system folders, be sure of what you delete, as you can accidentally remove something important. Now, let's deal with the biggest space eaters on your Mac. Time Machine Backups Mac OS should delete Time Machine Backups when your Mac runs low on storage, but it doesn't always work out that way. So here's how to reduce system storage on a Mac by deleting Time Machine Backups. Remember that it will delete local copies of your backups, so if you think you might need them, don't do it. Go to Applications, then Utilities, and Launch Terminal. Type this command. Simply copy it from the description box and press Return. You will now see a list of stored Time Machine Backups listed by date. Type this command where XXXXX is the name of one of the backup listed. This will take the form of a date followed by a text string. Repeat for as many backups as you want to remove. This is a tiring process, but Clean My Mac X can help you out here as well. Just launch the app and go to the Maintenance tab. Check the box next to the Time Machine Snapshot Thinning and press Run. It will minimize the space of your backups without deleting any of them. Now, check how much space you have cleared. Click the Apple logo again, and then About This Mac. Go to the Storage tab to see whether anything's changed. Great job! That's all for today. Check out the description box for links and additional details. And thanks for watching.